Thailand is doing whatever it would take to revamp tourism in its Phuket resort island where COVID-19 has decimated the economy because of travel curbs. Efforts include reception of foreign vacationers from China starting tomorrow. Correspondent Martin Liu is on the island of Phuket. It's one of the world's top tourist destinations. Phuket, a tropical island lying at the edge of the Indian Ocean, normally earns more than 80% of its income from international visitors. But the COVID-19 lockout has seen Thailand's richest province turned into a ghost town, with many hotels, bars, restaurants and shops shuttered. Those who make their living from holiday makers now stand in food queues, hoping for a handout, mostly organized by foreign expats. Thai authorities have run out of money to give support. This is a modern day breadline. I drive a motorcycle taxi, but since COVID came, it's been terrible. My income has disappeared with no tourists coming. My life has changed so much. Before, I was babysitting two or three children a day. Now, no one wants me. Well, the worst example and the reason why I started delivering food was this young man brought a drug into a police station so he would get arrested, get put in jail and get fed three meals a day. Just seeing the fact of people eating bugs and getting lizards and snakes and just eating them. Thailand has kept its COVID cases low with strict lockdowns and a ban on foreign tourists but many are suffering real hardship through lost income. At first, free food was handed out to those in need by the Phuket authorities, but they've run out of funds. They say they don't know when they can resume. For now, the only relief is coming from community efforts. I'm grateful to foreigners who see how much we're affected by the pandemic. I would like to thank all the expats for helping Phuket. We're so lucky to live in this country and Thailand has done so much for us over the years. It's, it's an honor to try and give back a little bit somehow. Thailand saw more than two and a half thousand suicides in the first half of the year, up 22 percent, the situation being linked to the pandemic. Phuket's plight is all the more shocking at an island which in normal times contributes 12 and a half billion US dollars a year to the Thai economy from tourism earnings.